All right, let's start over, people. Um, so we were trying to watch on a laptop, which apparently I'm logged in as me, and I can't watch me as I stream me. So my, my vice president um, is now watching on her phone. And um, so I'm real sorry for this technical difficulties. Um, this is our first time uh, broadcasting and first time streaming. Um, if you hear me talking in the background, I'm talking to my vice president uh, while she tries to watch this stream. So this is supposed to be a tutorial of Ghostly Summer Wind, and uh, we're streaming live on Facebook. And uh, I've already started the game, and I want to go through some of the features of this game, as well as show off um, the play areas that we have. Um, this game is sort of a mini open world. And in this open world, you'll find various areas to explore as you go about collecting coins, which is the main objective of this game, is to collect coins and reach achievements. So what I'm going to do is just uh, go through here and show the basics. And we'll start off with your controllers. So we've got here in your right hand is your hand. You can see me wiggling my fingers and looking around here. Um, and with the right thumbstick, it's just the standard movement I can rotate and, and do in left. This is a um, this is a, a way you navigate in the game. And with the left controller, of course, you can move forward and back, left and right. So together, you can get your movement going here, like this. I'm just going to go in a circle. For many players, um, that can be an adjustment because it's not the standard teleport click method. Um, you can also go faster. Notice here I'm going to go forward. That's my certain speed right now. And I'm going to hold down the left uh, trigger button. Now I'm going faster. That may be too uncomfortable for some players. So if you don't want to go that fast, just let go of your trigger button and you can move at a more comfortable, slower speed. Um, with the right controller, the only other things I have is, of course, th there's just the um, picking up objects. You're going to almost anything you pick up and interact with is going to be done with your right hand. Your left hand, you've got this cool little controller here. Um, and with your right hand, you're going to pick up your coins and pick up your objects. So right here, I'm picking up this large object here. Or I can pick up this object here. Come on. I'm having trouble picking stuff up. There we go. It dropped. Um, actually, yeah, there we go. And I'm having trouble picking up stuff. Why am I having trouble picking up? There we go. Pick up stuff and drop things. And pick up and drop. So you can pick up things and drop things with your right hand. With your left hand, you're going to um, just mostly navigate and control your speed. Now, let's pick up a coin. With coins, um, you don't pick them up with your right left hand. You touch them with your right hand. You'll hear a little click that you picked it up. So you're going to go about and pick up your coins with your left hand, your right hand. Yep, yeah, flashlight. So another tool that you can use is on your left controller. Um, your Y button is a flashlight. So you'll hear a little click, and it'll help you see in dark areas. So let's open this up. Here, I'm going to use my right hand. Wow. Click, open up the outhouse. And you can close again with your right hand. And that's either the, I'm doing either the right um, trigger button or the right grip button. Both of those buttons there will work to close and open that object. And I tried my left one, it's not going to work. So it's almost like you're interacting with the, the world with your right controller. It's just how our initial app here was programmed. Um, and then you got your flashlight. Um, there is sometimes flashlights, like all flashlights, sometimes you have trouble picking them on and you need to click it. So it's, it, 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 it's a little sensitive and you just gotta just hit it just right and it'll work for you every, most every time. But if you do have trouble with the flashlight, just click it a few times till you get it to come on. Just like real flashlights, the batteries that get weak and, and, and lose power. All right, Vice President, anything else you want me to show? We picked up things, we dropped things, we got the left controller. I got more to show, I'm just seeing if tippy toes. Well, before we go off and show you tippy toes, let's talk about the menu button, which is again brought up with your left hand controller, right there. So the left hand controller 
if you hit the menu button, you've got an option. Um, stuck, restart, weather, and quit. Do we want it to rain? Not right yet. So you also can see your score, which says I've picked up 40 coins. I've been playing this for a little while. And the, here is your time left. You want to try to complete the game in this time that's allowed. And as you play, you'll find out that time can be 60 minutes, 50 minutes, 40 minutes, or 30 minutes. So right now I've got 46 minutes left. And um, this other menu. So let's look at it. So you got stuck, restart, weather, and quit. I'm not going to show you restart and quit because that would be um, right now. Restart will allow you to restart the whole game, takes you back to the start. Quit, of course, will exit the game. But it will show stuck. Are you stuck? Yes. All right. Well, stuck will take you back to the start area. And here's your start area where you start next to this wrecked truck that broke through these barricades. And um, you can see around you here and you've got the rocks. So that's stuck. Stuck's very helpful if for some reason you get to an area that you are stuck in and can't get any further along. Um, lately, I don't, I, I, I really, um, there we go. Um, something that had changed, I'm sorry, this is a, I, picking up an object I didn't emphasize earlier, that is the right uh, grip button. If you try to do the right touch but trigger button, it's not going to work. You got to use the right grip button. Um, that's very important. So, if, for example, what I was doing a little a second ago there, when I was picking up this object, I was actually clicking both and letting go of the grip button, which drops it. But yet I have my trigger button pressed. So that might have been confusing to some people. So it's the right um, grip button. And I'm now holding and picking up that object and putting it there and going across the bridge. All right, so that was stuck. Weather, um, originally I had the game always raining, but I realized that was blocking out a lot of the sound effects and jump scares. Um, so I, turn, I made weather default off, but it actually is sort of fun to play in a rainstorm, which if you, if you like this, you can do that. And it's a different effect, it's a different feel to the game. It gets a little loud, so I'm gonna turn it off because Yeah, I'm going to let that dim down um, because I'm sure once that was getting pretty loud on the rain effect, that probably made it to where you could not hear me talking. Um, so if you're a streamer and you want to stream this game, be aware that the rain, unless you get the game volume turned down, which good streamers I know y'all are, that would be aware to turn down the game volume. So that rain effect is pretty loud. Um, I'm going to show a couple other areas. Um, Actually, I think I've got all nine achievements, so I do. If I, I can go in this area. What I was wanting to show is that this would be locked, but it's not going to be locked. Because um, this, this, I'm playing right now, and I've already won the game and got all the nine, nine achievements, so I can go into all these areas. But when you start out playing, the cemetery will be locked, and the church area that you see on top of that hill will be locked. And uh, my vice president wanted me to show off tippy toes, which... Get out of my he just hit us and teleported us. Um, this is a teen rated game. It's non really violent. There's no blood and gore. Um, there are fun aspects to it and uh, there are jump scares in the game. But in terms of the monsters you encounter, like Tippy Toes, the werewolf, um, they just chase you and they will teleport you, but they do make it difficult to ah, they do make it difficult to get all the coins you need to get. Like down here, there's a lot of coins you can see. Um, it's they're sometimes hard to see because of the fireflies. But I'm going to try to outrun Tippy Toes and grab a coin right here. So I see one. I'm trying to grab it. Got it. Ah, and Tippy Toes is right behind me. And get out. He got me again. So uh, that's covering almost all the basics of the game um, open and closing doors, interacting with objects, picking things up. Um, again, picking things up, it's your, your middle grip button. Uh, and some things that you'll find um, are breakable. And sometimes it's fun to smash things. Um, coins, there's 148 coins. And um, if you can find 100, that'll give you one of the, the nine achievements. There are nine achievements in the game. Um, uh, obviously, I just mentioned that if you find 100 coins, that's one of the achievements. I've found 42 so far. Um, 
The other achievements is like finding a skeleton. Another achievement is finding an ne Indian necklace. And uh, there's um, three ways to end the game, or four ways that you can end the game. And if you find three of the four ways, that'll give you another achievement. If you can win the game in, what is it, 30 minutes, Vice President? Yeah. Okay, so if you win the game in 30 minutes, an achievement. And um, another one is the house burns down. And you've got to find out how do you get the house to burn down. So you'll find that out. Um, if you play the game enough, there's a way to make the house burn down. The, uh, and so if you look at the, when you start the game, let's go ahead and restart the game so that I'm going to go back to the beginning because I've pretty much demonstrated everything here I want to demonstrate. So I am doing it, I want you to see the restart of the game. This will take us back to um, what the game will look like when it first starts. So here we are. When you first start Ghostly Summer Wind, um, you'll be at this area with um, with these jars, uh, the controller, you don't have a pick up controller yet, and the laptop, and this achievement board. You can see I've already gotten all nine achievements. Um, so find 100 coins, find the Indian necklace, find the hidden skeleton, find the secret doll room. Win the game three or four ways, run out of time and the house burns down. Okay, yeah. All right, so that's how the house burns down. I was sorry, I, I forgot I, I, I mentioned how to do that. So yeah, run out of time and the house burns down. Um, win in under 30 minutes. There's also a rune puzzle in the game that you have to solve. Um, if you, when you play the game, there'll be hints about how to solve a very complicated rune puzzle. Um, and then the ninth achievement, or the last achievement there, Inner Portal to Another Realm. Now that last one, you have to get all the other eight achievements before you can get into last achievement, number nine. Um, also, I want to mention this uh, back here. This will tell you how many achievements that you have. If you get four, you can get to this church area. If you get eight, you can get to the graveyard. Uh, then over here is credits. And um, I want to thank right now while we're doing this, the Facebook, gr Facebook group called um, the, For the Love of Summerwind. It used to be called uh, Summerwind Mansion uh, Fundraiser. But in that group, I learned all about Summerwind Mansion, which... Um, I really didn't point out when I was giving the talk, but when we were running around earlier in that, when I was just showing you, we were running around a house. That house is a model of Summerwind Mansion. It's a very famous house in Wisconsin. And uh, right now, if you go there, this is pretty much all you're gonna see. These two chimneys here and this these ruins. So a lot of people that love this place wanted to go to the house again. So I built the house in the virtual world, which you can explore and uh, so that's, I want to thank that group for sharing their photos and stories and lore about the Summerwind Mansion. Also, I, I use a lot of Unity assets, or Preston Young Productions will use a lot of Unity assets, which such as 3D Forge and Epic Sound Effects. And, um, but I want to mention um, the Enviro Sky. You can see those effects up here, the light. And then we were in the previous scene, we were at a night scene with a full moon. Um, Enviro Sky is an awesome Unity asset. I want to thank also the Haunted Dolls uh, pack that you can find on Unity Asset Store. Um, you'll find those dolls in the game. You can find them and, 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 and solve the hidden um, doll room. The, uh, also, Voxeland. If you see the land here that's sculpted, I just it's a fantastic Unity asset. And I love working with it. Um, and it integrated into VR. Took a little bit of tweaking and, and, and optimization of the, the, that asset, but it is... Um, 90, it should be 90 frames per second for your NVIDIA GTX uh, 970 or the equivalent of the AMD. Uh, so um, it allowed me to construct caves that you could just seamlessly walk through and go back to the overworld. And it just uh, allowed me to construct these um, ruins here, the, 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 the basement of this game. Um, other thing is when you first load this game, you can find out that you can pick up these jars here. You can break these jars. You can pick up this laptop, and if you want to, you can break this laptop. But I do want to mention that when you want to launch the game, um, it's this controller here that will trigger the, um, the initial start game. I, I just mentioned that just in case if you were to get stuck. Hopefully not, because there isn't too many places you can go here and do things. But I think eventually you'll figure out that if you touch this, you're going to trigger the game, and that will launch you into the main play area that I just was at. So without further ado, um, Vice President, I'm assuming there's nobody's joined us on this live stream, right? Okay, well, 
I want to thank y'all. We're going to upload this to YouTube, and I'll probably edit out some of the, the technical difficulties we had at the beginning. Um, but I just want to thank y'all for um, purchasing and supporting this game, and uh, we hope to continue to develop it and, and, and support it um, as we work on our other games. And, uh, and this is uh, Preston Jong with Preston Jong Productions signing off.